do we realize sometimes that Jesus didn't just die on the cross so we get to go to heaven and St. Peter checks us in and says, you're on the list. That's not the only thing. But he died to give us access back to God, and that starts now. Do we consider this reality every moment of every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, when we have when we pray or we have opportunities to pray, or do we consider this when we have opportunities to worship? How much had to be given in order for us to even be able to do those things? We have access to God at our fingertips. And I'm right there with you. I take a pass on it more than I take advantage of that. He sits on the other side of the line because he wants a relationship with us. He desires a relationship with us. We are special to God. Now, we're not special because we're good, because we did anything. We're special to God because he is good. We loved him because he first loved us. It so pleased him to buy back from slavery to sin the rebels of the kingdom, you and I, that he sent his son to reflect his glory and his, his presence on earth to buy back us as sons and daughters to the kingdom. He desires a relationship with us because it's to his own glory because he's good. Imagine with me for a second, if you will, Let's say you had a scenario play out in your life. Let's say you went through great lengths to save up thousands of dollars to send a child away for a high-priced um, education. You wanted them to go, they wanted to go to a particular school that cost a lot of money, so you worked a second, third job, you saved money, you denied yourself certain things throughout life that you would have liked to have, otherwise all in order to garner up a savings account so this child could go to this college that they wanted to go to. Imagine all the sacrifice and the late nights and this, all those things, but you're happy to do it because you love your child and this is what you do. Then imagine they went off to college and you found out that they failed all their classes and they used some of the petty cash you gave them to survive on to party. They dropped out of college, got a job doing nothing related to their education and just fluffed off everything, how would you feel? Really ripped off. Enraged. I can't imagine how God feels that he gave his only begotten son to give us access to him through Jesus and we don't actually follow through. So much was paid on the cross. So much was suffered and given so that we could not, so it wasn't a high priest walking into the Holy of Holies on Yom Kippur, cleansing, all this stuff, sacrifice, all these things that had to be done just to be able to walk into God's presence. And now we can do that 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and later we'll read with confidence, not because you're bravado, but because you're walking in with the confidence that God's not going to strike you down because now the blood of Jesus covers you and you're now counted as righteous and holy to God, not because of anything you've done, but because of what Christ did. You received that by faith and now you can enter God's presence, talk to him, receive from him, enjoy his word any time we want. Yet the prayer meeting is the most unattended event at church. We waste the opportunity. We blow it. We take it for granted. We, we leave it in exchange for a number of other things that don't even come close to the importance of the privilege we have of entering into a conversation with God. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 14. Since then, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast our confession, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. 
Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. This is profound. Profound. We go from the high priest, like this is what I would look like if I was the high priest on Yom Kippur. I'm scared. <laughs> if I walk in that room and I use the wrong cleanser unit and I, I didn't put the best bull forward, I'm going to die. And they're going to, some think they actually wrapped a rope around their legs so they could pull them out. Nobody likes a dead body in the Holy of Holies. So, so they could pull them out if they did fall over dead. Imagine that guy's job. We went from that to you, 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 All of us, make your kids. All we got to do is call upon his name. It's profound. 